Chapter 14, Climate Change and the Energy Crisis Learning Objectives To be able to know the causes of climate change, to know the problem formulations of climate change, to investigate the issue of climate change, and to help the students know how to take action to prevent energy crisis. Climate change is a change of distribution of weather patterns over a long time after being observed by the scientists all over the world. Climate change is due to enhancement of the Earth's natural greenhouse effect, which is caused by emissions of carbon dioxide and the other greenhouse gases that trap the heat in the atmosphere. What causes climate change? Human activities Open burning, emission of fossil fuel, emission of gas from vehicles, and CFC gas. Causes and effect of climate change Causes Rapid industrialization Energy use Agricultural practices Deforestation Consumer practices Livestock Transport Resource extraction And pollution Effects Rising temperatures Rising sea levels Unpredictable weather patterns Increase in extreme weather events Land degradation And loss of wildlife and biodiversity what are the social impacts of climate change? Displaced people, poverty, loss of livelihood, hunger, malnutrition, increased risk of diseases, global food and water shortages, problem formulations, carbon capture and storage, change the use of fossil fuels by transportation into plug-in hybrid, Adapting less carbon-intensive foils and renewable energy. Enhancing carbon sinks. What is the best source of scientific information on climate change? The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change was established in 1988 by the United Nations Environment Program and the World Meteorological Organization. It assesses scientific, technical, and socio-economic information Relevant to understanding the risk of human-induced climate change, potential impacts and options for adaptation and mitigation. Predicted impacts, milder and wetter winters, hotter and drier summers, more extreme weather events, rising sea levels. Global impacts, 11 of the last 12 years rank among the 12 warmest since the recordings began in 1850. The average temperature of the oceans has increased to depths of at least 3,000 meters since 1961. More than 80% of the heat added to the climate system has been absorbed by the oceans, and this has contributed to sea level rise. Global average sea level rose on average 1.8 mm per year between 1961 and 2003. The total 20th century sea level rise is an estimated 17 cm. Global warming is due to strengthened greenhouse effect. The Earth has natural temperature control system. Certain atmospheric gases are critical to this system and are known as greenhouse gases. On average, about one-third of the solar radiation that hits the Earth's surface becomes warm and as a result emits infrared radiation. The greenhouse gases trap the infrared radiation, thus warming the atmosphere. Naturally, occurring greenhouse gases create a natural greenhouse effect. However, human activities are causing greenhouse gas levels in the atmosphere to increase. Strengthening of greenhouse effect is due to increase of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. The six greenhouse gases under the Kyoto Protocol. Carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, perfluorocarbons, hydrofluorocarbons, and sulfur hexafluoride. Other greenhouse gases, ozone, bromine compounds, freons or chlorofluorocarbon, and water vapor. Meaning of carbon dioxide to global warming. Carbon dioxide is the most important anthropogenic greenhouse gas. The primary source of the increased atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide results from fossil fuel in power and heat production as well as transport. The change of land use provides another significant but smaller contribution. The atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide 
exceeds by far the natural range over the last 650,000 years. Causes of energy crisis Poor infrastructure, energy waste, power plant commissioning delays, unused renewable options, poor distribution, major accidents, natural calamities, wars and attacks, politics border obstruction, lack of storage, overconsumptioning, and overpopulation. Practices to conserve energy. Replace your old freezer with energy-efficient version. Only boil as much water as you need. Boiling a full kettle for just one cup of tea will generate up to eight times more carbon dioxide emissions. And lastly, switch off all appliances when not in use. Government. Increasing energy efficiency standards. Encouraging the use of renewable energy sources such as wind and solar power. Eliminating subsidies that encourage the use of coal and oil. Protecting and restoring forests that serve as important storehouses of carbon. International Action Providing precise and regularly updated inventories of greenhouse gas emissions. Taking climate change into account in matters such as agriculture, industry, energy, natural resources, and coastal activities. Developing national programs to slow climate change. Kyoto Protocol Emission Trading Under the protocol, countries may buy and sell greenhouse gas emission units and credits. Clean Development Mechanism This is a system for financing emission reduction or emission, avoidance projects in developing nations. Joint Implementation Industrialized countries are granted emissions reduction units for financing projects in other developed countries. A system intended to increase efficiency and reduce emission from the transportation economies of Central and Eastern Europe. Thank you for watching and listening to Chapter 14, Climate Change and Energy Crisis. Have a great day.